Okay. There we go. Here we are. Garrison, can you hear us? Did you give us a heads up? You, can you hear us, boys? They shouldn't be able to. Okay, good. Okay, good. I think that's a good thing. Well, here we are. Casey, David from Epic Tuesday. Gaming Incorporated. Are they a corporation? I don't know if they've spread that far yet. I don't know. Yeah. I assume a strong LLP stance is what they're looking at here. Yeah, they're definitely trying to trying to branch out. Right now, we're in the Kroger parking lot. I think Kroger owns more of the parking lot than this gaming store. Uh, they got a strong Yu-Gi-Oh presence here. We know that for sure. Yep, we're recording. Yeah, we're recording. We're going. We're watching the shuffle. Players are starting up. Uh, looks like we're about to get a heads call. Here we go. Final Ooh. round for Pokemon. Heads indeed. Did Edgar go first? I would assume he wants to. I can't tell. So, word on the street, allegedly, is that Edgar is playing some sort of fossil deck. It and is a fossil it, deck. Indeed. We see Tyrantrum. I, our tyrant? uh, tyrantrum will throw a tyrant. Yeah, uh, yeah. he's a very grouchy Pokemon. Uh-oh, we got a mulligan right off the bat. Garrison will undoubtedly go ahead and mark the top of his deck. Now, you do this so that you can basically... Mark your mulligans. Uh, good, good thing you put the prizes out there. That was yeah. A, that was a good play. Yeah, you don't want to start with zero prizes. Um, that's a, you that's, would just lose the game, right? I think if you don't put your prizes out now, you get a prize penalty. But here we go. Let's see. Now the interesting thing about he the, does mulligan quite a bit. Okay, quick yeah, start for him. He yeah. did mulligan six times on last time <laughs> that, that deck. I think that's part of the strategy is to deck the opponent out if they don't play ends, but. I'm sure that Garrison okay, is pretty to that. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, how lucha. How lucha. Now, this Pokemon is near and dear to my heart. First off, free retreat, which is amazing. Second off, he hits like a Mack truck. For one energy, he does 60. Um, now, this can stack up pretty quick with the new fighting stadium, uh, muscle band, fighting energies. Trying to see what he has. It looks like he's got a Tyrant in his hand, but... That's not going to get it done. Tyrant can only be benched. Oh, the laser. Oh, laser right off the bat. So this will be a big flip for him. If he can follow this up with a, a stadium, it's going to put immediate pressure. Is that a heads? Well, stadium and a DC. You know, well, would... he can't attack first turn. Remember That's that. True. That's true. Just Back trying to figure out the math here. Yeah, I know. You, you're... Oh, there is a DC. Oh, I told you, there it is. Uh, that's going to put immediate pressure. We may be looking at a, a one-turn clock here for him to have something. Now, the problem with the Tyrant is you can't bench it down. It's a fossil Pokemon, so you can only get it with a battle. What he, is he run, uh, fossil, fossil Research? Researcher. He does run four of those. I have seen that. Now, hopefully, he can get some basics down quick. If he can get a Tyrantrum online, that DCE could end up punishing Garrison, but we're a long ways from that now. now Garrison, Garrison is the top one. Yeah. Well, Tyrantrum's attack does 150 if the opponent's Pokemon well, has Tyrantrum a special. Tyrantrum is a stage one. He couldn't get it out first turn. Wow, well, I know. I'm just saying later in the game. Hey, Veltal's hitting the field, though. <laughs> okay. I did see Darkrai in this deck, so there will be some... I don't think Darkrai will hit the field, though, with the fighting. Yeah. Hey, I, I see a couple bicycles and what looks like a Lysander. Not a lot of draw support here. I think he's going to want to slam that fighting. Probably Lysander, the Veltal. Oh, there's, there's the fossil. Yep. There's okay. The fossil. So we'll see two Tyrants come down immediately here. There we go. Okay. I think he's cooking with gas now. We're back in the game. At least the Tyrants have a 90 HP, so you can't knock them out right off the bat. But another DCE down without a counter, that Mewtwo is going to start swinging pretty heavy. And it looks like he has at least two strong energies in his deck. Uh, looks like two are prized. It looks like two DCEs in the deck. I maybe, see a stun fist. Three. Just looking at the tricks he might have Silver here. Silver Bangle yep. and Sacred Ash are on there. So he yep. does have his recovery. Now, we need to see a, a follow-up supporter come from him because he's he's playing this. He looks like he had the Lysander's hand, a couple bikes and a, a fighting energy. So he needs a way to thin his hand down to get some use out of those bicycles to hopefully draw into a Juniper, an in some, some big draw supporter here. Looks like he's checking his resources. I'm talking too loud. I'm nervous. We're just real, just real scared. <laughs> I think if we just talk like this, hopefully they can hear us. Yeah. Or maybe. I feel like I'm take, whispering to you, though. Take, take one ear out. Yeah. This, is, this is how Charlie feels on those, those turtle beaches. Okay. I see what you're saying. Okay. Oh, that's way better. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, Sorry fans. Technical difficulties. Yeah. <laughs> Yet again, back here, epic Tuesday night Pokemon final. Ooh, the 
Here's the uh, the stadium. He does that adds three HP so that's gonna help. to the stage ones. This and would be twos. good. So next turn he can ultra ball away. Uh, probably the Lysander and maybe that spare Tyrant. Get a Tyrantrum and then bike for hopefully four. Well, looks like three. Depends on what he sells at, he sells yeah. at Lysander, so it'll be three. Yeah, he may be able to pull up that Eveltal or do something else here. He's in a way better spot than he was initially, though, so that helps. I think I want to keep that Mewtwo <clears throat> out, especially with the Veltal's resistance. Yeah. Um, I would. If Jirachi hits the field, that's never never a strong sign to see. Yeah, that's, a, that's a, an immediate liability. At least he's going to get a supporter out of it, but that's definitely Lysander Bay. Okay. What? The end. Edgar's got to be thrilled with this because that refreshes what was setting up to be a really, really poor hand unless he was to hit something off that bicycle. Now he immediately hopefully he immediately gets into a Tyrant. Tyrant Plus he can get the Tyrant room. Yeah. The only problem is looking for a DCE for the yeah. KO. And the other thing to note here is uh, that stadium. If he, if oh, actually Garrison can't, 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 well, it's yeah, 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 you're right. So that stadium is adding 20 more HP. 30, I believe. He will need the. He'll need his uh, Verbank. Yeah, to counter that. Otherwise, the even the DCE. That's a big. That's a big if. Yeah. Looks like it looks like a strong hand. I, I see an Ultra Ball out of Edgar, which means he'll have access to that uh, Tyrantrum. Dark. Looks like a dark. I can't see Garrison's hand here. Yeah, it's a little sheltered there. I can't oh, really. The there dark. we go. Here comes the dark down. So we're going to put some easy 40 damage on the field and try and spread it out. Yeah. I do see a Juniper, what looks like a uh, an Ultra Ball. Now, if he could hit a DCE, oh, DCE. Ooh, that's really big. And if he, he is a strong. If he can put the DCE down onto the bench Tyrant, go ahead and Ultra Ball, get the Tyrantrum, and then find a way to get that active out, he's going to immediately hit for 150 on the Mewtwo. He might. It looks like two DCEs in That's the That's a hand. lot of resources to get rid of on a Juniper, though. I think he's going to have to. I think he'll have to wait. Yeah. But he's going to lose the active if he doesn't. Yeah. That's just uh, a painful Ultra Ball followed up with a pretty painful What is that DCE. far left card? Can you tell? That's a pal pad. He doesn't have any supporters in his discard, though, I don't believe. So. That's true. All right. There's, there's the Tyrantrum. I wish there's a way we could pull up, like, a like a quick image of the card yeah, for the viewers. Agreed. <laughs> You're going to have to trust us on this, viewers. Or if you have Google, if you're using the internet <laughs> that you should be using, why don't you just go and pull the card up? Yeah. Now, Garrison looks pretty cozy in this position. He's not making a lot of eye contact with his opponent. Well, that, neither is Edgar. They're both pretty immersed in and what's on the field right now. He's going to hit like a brick if he can get yeah. If he can get that other one out. I mean, it does <laughs> 150 if they have a, yeah. a special. If area. you can find a muscle band and uh, knock out that Mewtwo, that's, that's going to be Well, it's one that he's really got the bangle in there already. Yeah, that, or a bangle. Yeah, either one of those in a way to get that active out will be Six, huge. Seven, there's, there's a switch. switch. That's really big. There's the switch. Let's see if he's got a follow-up play to get a second Tyrantrum out. Looks like he does. There's he a, has another there's Ultra another Ball. Halucha out. Now, I personally, no, honestly, I oh, like not, I like energy. not benching that Halucha. I like Ultra Balling both of that and the Stun Fisk away, and then immediately Sacred Ashing on back in if he needs to. He hasn't discarded any uh, Tyrants, so I'm not sure if he needs to wait on that. Oh, he passed. There's a pass. No, no, no. He didn't pass. Yeah, he did. Garrison's playing. Wow. He, he sent the Halucha active and pass. He's going to sacrifice now, Halucha. I guess, I guess I understand this play. The problem with going and just attacking for 150 is that all of a sudden you're really susceptible to, you know, a max potion, possibly just a, a retreat into that Eveltal. Plus Mewtwo's going to be putting 100 damage on yeah. the Tyrantrum. Yeah. You really want to get the first hit off. Otherwise, that Tyrantrum is really all he's got going for him right now. Now, what would have, if he was going to make this play, mm -hmm. it might have been better to just go ahead and save that that Juniper and sacrifice I your other Tyrant you. yeah. at that point. Garrison's going to start worrying about those DCs on his on his Pokemon. Yeah, it's going to slow Garrison down a little bit to not recklessly bench the special energy, but at the same time. If he has a way to knock out this Tyrantrum. It's going to be a big play. It'll be a big play. Now, he already there, played there. his supporter, so he can't Lysander. He got a 
Got to look out for a catcher flip to come down. I can't really see Garrison's hand. Will, so. Verbank is on the field, though, so that Tyrantrum yeah. doesn't have the plus 30 anymore. Right. That's a good there's point. There's a Viltal. There's a laser, the laser to knock out the Halucha. Yeah. All right. So this is a big play here. He's going to get one prize. But if Edgar can swing in for 170. Will it be? It'll only be. He'll only have 20 on the Halucha. He has 40. He only has 70 HP. Yeah. Now. All right. So here's an ultra ball here's to get this second Tyrantrum down. Is that the Stunfisk? Yeah, Stunfisk in a fighting. He'll get that second Tyrantrum on board. Now, what supporter did Edgar have? He had. I'm not sure. We'll have to take a peek and what? see what he has access to. He's really looking for the muscle band or silver bangle. Basically anything to one shot that music. Now Garrison's right now. played two two lasers. Yeah, that's that's big. If Alright, there's, oh, the, there's sacred the sacred ash play. Ash. Two. See I just oh, that's a that's I, a very I, premature sacred ash in my opinion. Well, I like to play a turn before. I don't like it now. I think save it for that that tarantrum that is going to get knocked out yeah. eventually. He's still got three battle or, uh, fossil researchers in his hand. He's definitely got a draw supporter here. He's going to attach that. All right, so he's guaranteeing himself There's that one the shot. So that's why the sacred ash came out. Six, seven. seven. All right, There's he's got computer, computer search. So now see if he'd waited. He has the fighting stadium too. Well, he couldn't. He had the the juniper in his hand so he uh, had to go ahead and use it now i like the attachment on the other tyrantrum you still have a lot of outs to draw and to knock out that mewtwo in one hit and he drew the fighting stadium so that extra energy is just more damage piling on from a return evil ball if he'd attached it to the other tyrantrum he has computer search and a fighting stadium that he could have either got the silver bangle muscle band the fighting stadium any number of those things to still I get a ko i liked it an energy attachment to Halucha. Yeah, that's not force, a bad play either. Force an energy or a, yeah. another burn another laser. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad play and either. That's a, strong, that's a strong 80 coming at him. That puts Mewtwo at 100. And that's 100 a lot more reasonable to, to get at. Yeah, than, well, I still like the one shot on the Mewtwo here. The Halucha being powered up for the next turn is nice to be able to close the gap on the damage for the Aveltal. If you get in those two for one prize trades, which Edgar has a huge advantage in this match because he's not playing any EXs, it's definitely worth a Halucha sacrifice to be able to get Yveltal in an easier knockout range. That is a strong point because it, it, Halucha's power allows it to ignore the resistance yeah. of Yveltal. All right, so here's a one shot from Tyrantrum. So let's take a peek. So Yveltal has three energy on it, and then uh, Tyrantrum has four. So that's 140, that's 160 immediately One, coming two, from three, the Aveltal. Four, five, six, it shouldn't seven, take much for him to still be able eight. to knock out that Tyrantrum. He just needs another energy to essentially or knock him out. Or, or laser. any number of things, yeah. See, this is why I like the energy on the other Tyrantrum too. It just makes it too easy. Or the muscle man. Yeah, it makes it too easy to return knockout. I believe his second attack does require two fighting, though. So I think that's why it had to yeah. go down. The first attack, though, yeah. It, For the one shot, he did well, need that second energy. If if Edgar could have drawn a, a normal fighting, that would have been obviously a lot Well, he more. already had the normal fighting on him. If he would have just drawn... Yes, but number, what Tyrantrum's second attack requires two fighting and two colorless. Yeah, but Mewtwo had the special energy. So the first attack does 90 plus another 60 if they have a special energy on them. Okay, I thought that was his second attack. Or, yeah, no, that's the first one. I've only so he already had enough on it. Yeah. He was just, I think, worried that he wasn't going to draw a way to knock tall. it out. So yeah. How much HP does that Tyrantrum have? I think it has 170 right now. It doesn't it's really matter, 170 or 180. It might be 160. I think it's 130 He's, plus the 30. There's essentially there's the uh, enough, <laughs> enough yeah, damage there's, on there's board to take him out, coming. even with that. Edgar does have an in in hand now, which I like oh, to see come down here. I, I do. I'm not a fan of that play. I well, wish. well, never mind. The Halucha's going to get knocked out. Knocked out way. Now, he does have the strong energy, so if he can find a way to draw into a double colorless, he's going to do 100. He just strong energy. Yeah, I know. I'm saying next turn. 
He's going to have a way to knock out that Evel Tall. Uh oh. Sorry about that. If that cut out. Oh, wait, we should be keeping track of these prizes. Yeah. <laughs> Edgar's definitely in a tough spot here, Sorry, though. Sorry, folks. That's four for Edgar, correct? Right. And I believe. I think he's down he to four. Four, four, well. four. Close uh, game. Yeah, prizes are even, but Garrison's definitely got a stronger board state. This Halucha will go down this turn, leaving Edgar with nothing but a Tyrantrum to face uh, a mounting army of Eveltals. The end was good, but if Garrison drew uh, any any draw supporters, it's just going to strengthen an already now really strong position. Garrison. Wait, okay. Um, Edgar did pass, so we do have... Yeah, this just doesn't look good. He's got a, a two Eveltal with... Um, and with any damage, energy. We, we're just going to see a dark right hit the field, and that'll be free retreat. And yeah. I don't even think he needs it at this point. Now, we have seen Garbodor in, um, in Garrison's deck prior, but against Edgar's, it just really doesn't do a whole lot. It turns off Eva. <laughs> it, was, it, turn, it, it turned off uh, Halucha, Halucha and which is really it. And there we go. We see a dowsing machine to get the Verbank in play to counter the... And a junior. That was a, that was a great hand by Gary. Yeah, he really drew a strong that, hand. That Edgar would have utilized Halucha a little more this game. Yeah, I agree with you. But I think it's very important to say that for a fossil deck, this is yeah. definitely a lot closer than I I would imagine. Yeah, well, Tyrantrum can definitely hit hard if um if and there's if the you get it powered down, up. But so Garrison takes. So there's a DCE. So he'll be able prize. to he'll be able to knock out this Eveltal. Well. Followed with an in. Uh, it was an in by Edgar. Yeah, so this is a strong play. Unfortunately, he's already got 40 damage on the Tyrantrum, and he's staring down. Two um, fully powered yeah. Eveltals and he's, a float He's staring down 120 damage from the Eveltal on the bench. So, or sorry, 140. Um, plus three cards is not... Not a he, devastating blow. Uh, he won't. Current, current he meta. did draw Landris, so he won't be benched out here. So we're gonna see the Tyrant from knockout Eveltal. Take, take the knockout. So he's gonna promote this other Eveltal and return another knockout. So that's two prizes for Edgar. Edgar is making some strong plays here. Fortunately, this uh, Evil Ball is gonna knock out the Tyrant from leaving him with just a Landris. Which does no damage to Eveltal right now. Is that with Shadow Power? Where? What is? Okay, that's just discard. Yeah. It looks like. Now yeah, I will there, say there this: there is a laser in in Garrison's hand. I don't. I don't know if he needs it. He doesn't need it. So evil ball. I'm not sure that he needs to do this play. I would have really liked to see him keep the hypnotoxic laser. Um, he's gonna to he's gonna it. take a knockout with the Aveltal. There's really no he way that he could be it. in trouble. Now, it say he depend on his hand if he has the Juniper. There. Yeah. Not the, I believe he's had three lasers down now. There yeah. is one more in the deck. Yeah. I, we we think we can see. So this is just a personal preference of mine, but I, I like saving the supporter. Um, to see if he's gonna end next turn. If he ends you, then you're keeping more support. Uh, in your hand. That is true. I also like getting the Dark Rye and discarding it with the Juniper. I understand getting Lysander um, and possibly Megaphone on the Jirachi, but I, I believe it's a lot that, of cards uh, to need. Well, he might be setting up a Night Spear yeah. with with Eveltal's second attack. Yeah. Um, we do have three fossil researchers. Yeah, Edgar's going to be able to. Got, got he's going to be able to get a um, another Tyrant going. I now the only problem is the ty the Tyrantrums at this point. They may all be discarded. We'll have to see what's left in his deck. At this point, there is a the ideal scenario here. A so there is a bangle. I think it's just to promote the Landorus. Go ahead and, and battle our f fossil researcher. See what resources you have left. The only real chance he has is a way to get another Tyrantrum going to one shot the Eveltal or Dark Here's Rye. another Ultra Ball from Garrison. I would like to see him honestly just go ahead and put another Eveltal out. Yeah. 
that darker I should not hit the field. I don't like that play. I I think there's too many outs if you get a Halucha and a, you know, a Lysander. The only other deal is he does have the darkness energy. So if if he does get pulled out, you can't free retreat it. Yeah. Um, I would like... See, see. I would have I would have preferred to see Veltal's second attack. Go ahead and put the dark on Dark Dry. Mm. If he does get end, you have the free retreat and the out option at this yeah. point. All right, we see the fossil researcher. So he does Edgar's have, taking a look to see what he's got. Fisk. There is one Tyrant that he'll yes. be able to binge. Is Another. Stunfisk a retrievable card from that? From Fossil Researcher? No, Fossil Researcher only gets a uh, Amora and a uh, Tyrant. I think it's a more of the I'm water. I'm assuming he top the water the dinosaur. Then. He did. He did top deck the stun okay. fisk. All right. We don't see a follow up energy, which is going to be devastating very, to Edgar. Very brutal. So this so Landorus is going to go down. A hundred damage at this point. I mean, Ed, Edgar's thinking about the Lysander, but Garrison just Garrison did, no yeah. Draw. He just did a professor's letter for. There's the Lysander, yeah, and this is this hurts. Oh, so the Aveltal is going to knock out that Tyrant. That'll be for 100 and damage. And that'll be I think KO, we may see so a scoop we have, here. We have one. There's the scoop. Yeah, he scooped. All right. So Garrison is the Garrison winner takes of the a first Tuesday, September 16th win. Uh, congratulations to Garrison and congratulations to Edgar. This is a, a oh, lot he, so he he didn't scoop. He played town map. Well, pretty well, much the same. Yeah, we're we're in a bad spot. <laughs> My statements still stand. Congratulations to both competitors. Yeah, both teams played hard. <laughs> oh, the muscle oh, band. We see the, here's we Maxim. See, oh, Maxim, there's, there's, and there's, respect, there's, and there's the final win. <laughs> and there it Beltal is. Beltal on straight flex. Congratulations, Garrison. <laughs> Thank you to Epic Cards and Games.